Well, we want to continue today from the sermon series entitled Pictures of Jesus. Pictures of Jesus. Do I have a congregation who's ready today? Yeah. All right. I, on my right wing, I certainly have. Okay. <laughs> Pictures of Jesus. I want to minister today from the sermon topic, a place called Elam. A place called Elam. Church, we are living in a changing world. As a matter of fact, the world is changing so much that it would be almost unrecognizable to our great-grandparents where they are alive today. Let's think on this. We live in a world where the life of a lion matters more than black lives matter. Yeah, some world. We live in a world where the Ten Commandments have been removed from the front of the Oklahoma courthouse and where the famine, the temple of Satan, will be set up in Detroit's Eastern Market District. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yes, they are. Already you think I'm playing games? You think I'm playing Christian? We live in a world where children in primary school are now being taught in certain states that an acceptable or normal family can consist of two men and a child or two women and a child. <laughs> where primary school students are now being introduced to various ways that sexual activity can be carried out. Talking about the world that we live in. Right? Talking about what's going on in America. One and a half, two hours, two hours away by plane. <laughs> All right. We live in a world where a male can mutate his body and surgically change his looks and be called courageous. The blood of Jesus. This is happening when we fully understand that no matter how one identifies as that God already chromosomally or genetically decided their sex while they were being knitted in their mother's womb. Talking about the world in which we live. And don't, don't, don't you all be thinking that money is playing in your life so that you can do this. Take some money. I'm, I'm just trying to help somebody here. Church, what am I saying to you today? I, I'm telling you that you must be aware that the world is progressively changing to where right is condemned as wrong and wrong is spotlighted as right. The world will continue to push out Jesus, the light, and introduce Satan the father of the dark underworld. The question is, will you even know or recognize? Take his picture. Take that stuff down. Take it down. That's enough. While I'm preaching. I just had to have it up there for a moment. Take it down. Take that down. Take it down. Just put up my title. Put up something, but just take that down. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, that in the middle of mess, in the middle of madness, we can still put up a picture of Jesus. You know, so do you even recognize the wrong that is going on in our world? Or have you become so fixated on its excitement that 
you are actually enjoying watching it happen. You're going to say no. But there are some people in churches and maybe even in here that have no problem watching it happen, watching it take place. When I see such sin, when I see such, such immorality, it bothers me. There is an eternal danger in changing from the word of God. Hear me, hear me, hear me. There is an eternal danger. There's an immediate danger, and then there's an eternal danger in changing from the word of God. There is an eternal danger of erasing the presence of Jesus and inviting in the presence of whoever. Romans 1, Romans 12, 1 and 2 clearly tells us, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that what yet you present your body a living sacrifice. Come on, come on, Bruce. Holy, come on, Bruce. Acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And come on, come on, homosexual. Be not conformed 